blue whale. The blue whale isn't just the biggest animal alive, it's the biggest ever. Its heart weighs as much as a small car, its tongue as much as an elephant. Each heartbeat echoes through the ocean like distant thunder. One breath could fill a thousand lungs. Its veins are wide enough for a human to crawl through. If the pressure didn't crush them first, it moves like a ghost of steel, gentle but unstoppable, feeding only on krill, the smallest life in the sea. A creature that could swallow cities chooses instead to sip dust. When it exhales, a geyser of mist rises like a monument, declaring that power doesn't need claws to be feared. The blue whale isn't just alive, it's the ocean made flesh. Think that's massive, human? The next one shook the very ground it walked on. Argentinosaurus. The Argentinosaurus wasn't just big, it was earth shattering. Weighing in at over 100 tons and stretching 30 meters long, it was one of the largest land animals ever to walk the earth. Imagine a creature so heavy it could crush a small building with a single step. Its neck alone stretched as long as a school bus, and its tail could whip across a football field in seconds. Yet, despite its mass, it lived in herds, moving through ancient forests as if it was the only thing that mattered. How did it feed? Massive amounts of vegetation, swallowing entire trees like snacks. But the most incredible part? It still had to be careful not to collapse under its own weight. The ground would crack under its feet, and yet, somehow, it managed to take each step in a delicate dance of balance. Think that's big, human? Wait until you meet the next giant, one that could swallow whole forests. Shastasaurus. Before whales ruled the oceans, another giant swam in silence. The Shastasaurus. It stretched over 20 meters long, sleek as a torpedo, moving through prehistoric seas with quiet precision. Unlike other predators, it had no teeth. Instead, it hunted by suction, vacuuming fish into its jaws faster than the eye could see. Imagine a creature longer than a city bus, but hunting like a ghost. Its ribs curved like armor, its spine shaped the rhythm of the sea. Every breath rose like thunder underwater echoing across Triassic depths. It needed lungs the size of cars, and yet it slipped through the ocean without a ripple. Even its fossils seemed to hum with motion, as if they remember the waves. The Shastasaurus was the ocean's first true leviathan, graceful, immense, and unstoppable. But if you think this one ruled the seas, wait until you meet one with teeth. Megalodon. The Megalodon wasn't just a big shark, it was the biggest predator to ever swim the Earth's oceans. Growing up to 18 meters long and weighing over 60 tons, it could snap a whale in half like a twig. Its teeth alone could be as long as a human forearm, and a single bite could generate more pressure than a car crushing a watermelon. Imagine a creature so big it could swallow a human whole and then go on to eat an entire school of fish in one chomp. Its jaws were so powerful that even the slightest misstep would result in a massive eruption of water. But even the megalodon had its time. By the end of the Miocene, it disappeared, leaving a gap in the oceans that still hasn't been filled. Its legacy is still felt in the oceans today, where its shadow looms over the biggest sharks. Think that's the top predator, human? Wait until you meet the next one, one that devoured entire land animals. Paraceratherium. Before elephants, before hyenas, there was Paraceratherium, a mammal so large it made everything else look small. Standing over 5 meters tall and 12 meters long, it weighed at as much as five African elephants combined, yet it wasn't a predator. This gentle giant roamed ancient plains, feeding on treetops like living cranes of flesh and bone. Its neck stretched skyward, pulling entire branches into its mouth with a calm that only size can give. Its legs were thick as tree trunks, each step shaking the ground beneath it. But despite its bulk, Paraceratherium was surprisingly graceful, built for endurance more than speed. Scientists still debate how it survived heat, hunger, and predators, relying on sheer mass and slow determination. It vanished around Vinci Itres million years ago, leaving only fragments of bone and wonder. Even now, we call it a rhino, but it was more mountain than beast. Next, a predator stranger than imagination. Deinocheirus. When scientists first stumbled upon the arms of Deinocheirus, they were met with a mystery that seemed ripped straight from a nightmare. They didn't find a full skeleton, just two enormous limbs, each stretching over eight feet long, tipped with claws sharp enough to shred trees like paper. For years, paleontologists scratched their heads, imagining all sorts of terrifying creatures. Some pictured a monstrous predator on the scale of T. Hex, others conjured a bizarre, nightmarish bird that could swoop down from the sky and tear anything apart. The reality, when the full skeleton was finally unearthed, was even stranger. Dano Sheirus was neither a pure hunter nor a flightless terror. It was a surreal combination of quirks, 
a duck-like beak perfect for scooping plants or fish, a humpbacked spine that made it look like a prehistoric camel crossed with a genosaur, and massive arms capable of both digging and defense. Measuring nearly 11 meters from snout to tail and weighing 6 tons, it towered above the wetlands it called home. Its webbed feet allowed it to wade through shallow lakes in search of food, a gentle giant with a hint of menace. Denocheros was proof that even 70 million years ago, nature had a wildly sarcastic sense of humor, blending power, absurdity, and grace into a single, unforgettable creature. Titanoboa Titanoboa was a serpent of legend, a titan that slithered through the jungles of ancient Colombia around 60 million years ago. Stretching over 40 feet long and weighing an estimated 2,500 pounds, it was the largest snake to have ever existed. This enormous predator wasn't just big, it was powerful enough to constrict massive prey, crushing them with the strength of a hydraulic press. Titanoboa's diet likely consisted of crocodiles, turtles, and even large fish, all swallowed whole by its jaw, which could open wide enough to engulf animals as large as deer. Despite its massive size, Titanoboa's mobility was impressive, able to move swiftly through the water and across land in search of its next meal. Its bones, discovered fossilized in the thick mud of Colombia, provide scientists with a glimpse of how such a beast could live in the tropical forests of the Cenozoic era. Even in death, Titanoboa's legacy is one of awe, a reminder of the primal forces of nature that once ruled the earth. It stands as proof that long before humans walked the soil, titans shaped the fate of ecosystems. In every fossilized vertebra, there lingers a question how many other giants slept, unnoticed, beneath ancient swamps. Titanoboa may be gone, but its shadow coils through time, warning us that nature once dreamed far bigger than we can imagine. Something older always waits. And in that same ancient breath, wings were already learning how to roar. Meganura. Long before birds or bats ruled the air, there was Meganura, the dragonfly that dominated prehistoric skies. With a wingspan stretching over two and a half feet, it was larger than some modern hawks. Imagine a dragonfly the size of your forearm. Now multiply it by ten. Meganura soared through the lush swamps of the Carboniferous period, hunting anything small enough to grab frogs, insects, even small amphibians. Its eyes were enormous, mosaics of perfect vision, scanning every twitch below. Powered by oxygen-rich air, its body thrived in an atmosphere denser than today's, allowing it to grow to monstrous size. But Meganura wasn't just big, it was fast capable of darting, diving, and striking with uncanny precision. Its thin, veined wings shimmered like stained glass in the sunlight, silent as death. Fossilized remains found in France give us a glimpse of this ancient aerial killer, the apex predator of its era. It lived and died over 300 million years ago, long before dinosaurs, long before mammals, a reminder that flight has always belonged to hunters first. See you in the next video? Welcome to Death Valley, a place where the Earth itself seems to burn. The hottest spot on the planet, where summer temperatures climb past 56 degrees Celsius and the air feels like opening an oven door. It's a land of cracked salt flats, mirages, and heat so intense it warps. If you made it this far, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, and hit the bell. And tell me in the comments, which land giant do you believe would rule them all? Who is the true titan of prehistoric Earth?